right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and a busy six months of the year. I'll tell you what, man, over 1,500 wines have crossed my table and I taste everything twice. Once when the supplier brings it to me, I take my initial notes and then I taste it again the second day. That's how you find the world's greatest wines because Great wines are better on the second day. Like these Sojourn wines, a small producer, a collaborative effort. They've got two winemakers' names on the back label here. Sojourn, uh, they source fruit. And this Snomaco Chardonnay 2013 sees 30% new French oak. This wine's got a nice touch of that lightly toasted oak spice. Hey, I like a little oak in my Chardonnay. As long as it's got enough rich, ripe tropical fruit to take it, I want a little vanilla bean spice and creme brulee to go with it. This is a nicely balanced Chardonnay, good amount of crisp, ripe fruit, lemon, just a hint of that lightly toasted oak spice and uh, wonderful acidity holding everything together. Very good on the second day, 42.50. The Pinot Noir North Coast, uh, also 2014, another really good vintage uh, from the North Coast. And this wine's got a good amount of dark uh, cherry, berry fruit, fresh flowers, a nice touch of exotic spices, everything done in open top fermenters, unfined and unfiltered. This why is he 50% new oak? You get some little nice spice from that oak there. Uh, smooth and silky texture on the tongue. This wine's got lovely black cherry, black raspberry fruit, a nice touch of brown spice and floral nuance to the finish. Excellent juice at $42. The Gap's Crown Pinot Noir. Now you have my attention. One of the top vineyards located in the Petaluma Gap. This wine sees 10% whole cluster in the fermentation on all native yeast. And this wine has a beautiful bouquet, exotic spices, pretty floral notes, uh, dark cherry, dark raspberry fruit, lovely complexity here on the nose, lovely concentration richness on the palate. Some uh, big silky tannins and uh, a nice amount of spice and pretty floral nuance on the finish, uh, lengthening that with the acidity, holding everything together. Most excellent juice at 63.75. Hey, Pinot Noir is not a cheap date, especially the good stuff. The Oakville Cabernet, also not a cheap date at 73.50, but for Oakville Cabernet, not incredibly expensive. This wine sees 75% new French oak, 100% from Oakville, my favorite appellation in Napa, only because Pritchard Hill's not an appellation, but uh, this wine's got a good amount of dark currant, rich cherry liqueur-like fruit, notes of black spice, herb, Earth, tobacco, milk, chocolate, big and chewy wine on the tongue, but these 2012 showing lovely balance, big tannins, but they're ripe and round. Good amount of that spice and chocolate and earthy notes coming through on the finish. Most excellent juice at 73.50, even better on the second day. All right, on to Mick Price. Uh, which uh, we're back to white wines. Uh, Terra Blanche from Paso Robles. They do some very good Rhone varietals here. This wine, a mix of Viognier and Roussan, only 160 cases produced, made with neutral oak. Uh, very rich wine, notes of beeswax, honey, white peach, apricots, hibiscus flower, and uh, rich and layered on the tongue as well. A good amount of that ripe peach and apricot fruit, that honey and beeswax character showing through the finish. Really nice freshness though, holding everything together. That acidity, excellent juice at 37.50. All right, the right-hand man, Syrah, Central Coast, kind of catch any marketing here, and they use a blend of French, Hungarian, and American oak, a bit of Petite Syrah and Viognier in the Syrah. This wine's got the lovely toasty oak, almost burnt campfire wood note, dark plum and cherry fruit, violet floral notes, really smooth and velvety texture on the tongue. One of the things we love about Syrah, it's rich, ripe fruit, but also lovely smooth, silky texture, a nice touch of toasty oak spice, and pretty floral notes to the finish. Very good. At $36, and then and the blue collar sellers um, high on the hog Grenache from Santa Barbara. This wine's got 15% Syrah, sees 30% new French oak, a good amount of fresh berry pie fruit here, pretty floral notes, hints of black pepper spice, a lot of that fresh berry pie fruit coming through on the on the tongue, fresh flowers, that peppery spice at the end. Excellent juice at $27. That's what we had to drink with our friends from Sojourn and McPrice. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.